Hey everyone, I just wanted to take a second and um, say something I probably haven't said enough on here. Uh, I just had a patient come in and, and relay a story of a man, college age uh, girl that, that recently got COVID. She's not terribly sick, it's more of a nuisance than anything, but it reminded me that I probably haven't said what I'm about to say enough in here. If you haven't been sick yet, and you're out moving around with other people and whatever probably makes sense to call your family doctor or find a functional medicine doctor like me because sometimes the family doctors won't do this get your vitamin d level tested make sure your levels are appropriate which for most people is going to be above 55 maybe between 70 and 90 for a real sweet spot um, make sure your magnesium levels are good. You have to get an RBC magnesium, not a serum magnesium test. Make sure your zinc levels are good. You can gauge that usually by doing a test called an alkaline phosphatase test. Or you can actually drink a little bit of, of zinc solution, swish it around your mouth, and if you don't taste anything, then you're probably deficient in zinc. Check your white count, make sure you're not anemic, check your red count, look at your iron levels. Kind of get some of the basics done and, and know where you are and get your house in order, right? If you're eating a bunch of sugar or a bunch of fake fats or bad fats, if you're not exercising a little bit, if you're not getting good sleep at night, all of those things put you at higher risk. So right now, if, if you're out moving around in public, like most of us are, it's important to make sure that you've got those things dialed in. That way, um, I, I won't say you, you necessarily won't get it, right? You could still be exposed and still be infected. But if you get infected, what you want it to be is one of those asymptomatic cases where you really don't feel anything and you just get on with your life, right? You've got immunity built up now and off you go. If you want to have that experience, you've got to make sure that you got some of these things you know, dialed in and under control. So just wanted to say that yet again, uh, if you haven't done that yet, contact me, contact another functional medicine doctor, contact your primary care doctor, whoever's cooperative with you, and ask for those tests, right? I would get a CBC, a chem profile, or, or CMP, they'll call it. Um, vitamin D, uh, make sure there's alkaline phosphatase in the chem profile that you're getting. Um, RBC magnesium test, Maybe you get, you know, fasting blood sugar, insulin, and an A1C, which will tell you if your blood sugar uh, is out of control, um, and maybe even a CRP to look for inflammation, something along those lines. But, but get a basic panel like that and clean up what you can so that if you do come in contact, if you do get infected, you're much more likely to be a mild case and not a case that has to go to the hospital and, and have all kinds of major interventions. Okay, um, if you do get sick, go back and look at my previous video of what to have on hand and, and kind of the first line of what to do. Um, if you get sick, I'll probably do another one of those now that we know more about it. But, but at least go back and find that video and you'll have the basics for what to do. All right, anyway, go have a great day, but do be diligent. Get on that, call your doctor, get tested. Let's find out where you are and that way you'll be better prepared. All right, have a good one.